just getting people, and today we're actually going to do, so, do something helpful. We're going to be changing the load control arm. So I've took one off already, just so you know, tight the bolts and everything. But we're going to be changing these. We're going to put the, the big spars, as it's called, on mine, on, and the ASR brace. Um, we're just going to show you a tutorial how to do it. We've got it on the ramp, but you can actually do this on the drive. Um, all you'll be needing is basically this little 10 point tool. Uh, you can get from anywhere, eBay, um, anywhere online. Um, we need a uh, 12mm for the anti-roll bar and basically that. Or, if you like us, a big wacky thing. So, <laughs> and that's the drill. <laughs> And that, but that's just for the ease of the video and that all of you might have on there. But yeah, that's basically what you're going to need. Right. So the first thing that we're going to do is, we're going to take the anti-roll bar off to fit this, which is just the SR brace. Now there's four 13mm bolts. Now, I don't know if you can say, buddy. Here, here. The top one, and the... Um, sometimes they're rusted on, sometimes they're not. I was luckily haven't been. We're on the drive, like I said, we just got propped up because we have an option to prop it up. Now, once that after that, it should be loose. Now, firstly, all this does is, well, it'd be clever to take this off first, which I'm going to do in a second, but all this will do is slide behind there, and you'll come with what spaces to turn out of here. With all the spare bolts, I'll come with the little spaces. Now, them spaces you put behind as this is indented, so them spaces will sit there and that'll bring it back out so it all sits flush. So, on this side, you, this is where you need your little 10 point tool, right? There are three of them here. We've already cracked them off. Make sure they're on because the last thing you want to do is round them. Or what I should have done first was actually make sure it was on the gun. I was about to take this off then I remember that I didn't prop the wheel up so it's probably easier if you prop the wheel up just so when you line them up it doesn't really make much of a difference to be fair but it just makes it a little bit easier when you come to line it up if you've got the wheel propped up not like a chunk of wood yeah just anything so basically all you need to do is get that in line it up line them up now you can either reuse the original balls or with most of the kits <laughs> Most of the kits you come with other bolts so you don't have to use that stupid tool anymore. So I'm going to use the new bolts and I'll just twist them in a little bit just to make sure they're the right thread. Right, so basically the best thing to do is probably stick these three in first at either side, the three bolts, because otherwise you're going to have a right time trying to line these up. Um, so what we've done is we've stuck both the low control arms in first, undone the anti roll bar, and what we're going to fit now is the SR brace. Now, it's a bit difficult when you're on your own because you're going to have to hold this up, put the spaces behind, try and line them up. So what we're going to do is, Louis is going to give us a hand and I'm going to put these, just keep, sit these behind there, just hold it in and I'll line them up with a the screwdriver and I'll stick the anti-roll bars. Put that back on first. I don't think there's a right and wrong way of doing this. If there is, then I don't really care. We're doing it the way that we're doing it. sent us so the one this bottom bolt here was a completely different size to the other ones which is I'm pretty sure is not meant to be the crack but anyway the MSR braces are fucking cheap Chinese shite anyway um, 
So what we had to do was switch these balls around so we could get the top balls in and then all you do is tighten them up. Now we've left these loose just because we're going to do them last. Um, now because we've got to film fitting the, the big bar. Um, basically, if you had the wheels propped up, then this 17mm bolt will line up perfectly to the low control arm. It goes straight through the big spar on here, and straight through it goes, comes out the back. You don't need to put a nut on the side, it's already got one. And you just tighten them up both sides, and then on the big spar, you have an Allen key, two Allen keys, and two nuts underneath, and you just tighten them up at either side. And that's it all fitted, so that'll be the anti-roll bar on top of the ASR brace and then the big spar on top of the ASR brace as well. 17 all through, tighten them up, everything should be on. Now the reason I stopped filming yesterday is because I actually snapped off. Alright, it's Matt from Tackle Racing. We're going to start doing YouTube videos on how to fit various parts of the AP3. Um, you'll have just watched our video on how to fit the low control arms, big spar and ASR brace. Um, if you notice that I had a snapped anti-roll bar bolt. Uh, it's because I snapped it late last night, couldn't be asked to drill it out, so we're going to be drilling it out today. Um, just thought we'd do a little videos to help people out rather than just skip people as we tend to do on the forum a lot. Um, yeah, so we appreciate if you subscribe to us. Cheers.